my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, I am just showcasing what it is that my house looks like starting off the year 2022. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you subscribe make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video and if you're not already following me on Instagram I would love to have you over at mom with muscle without further ado let's get into this video first off welcome back oh my gosh I took two weeks off and it was so nice to just decompress be with my family celebrate the holidays without having the stress of creating content and so I appreciate you guys bearing with me as I spent that time with my family but what do you guys think of my new backdrop? My my kind of filming room is not complete, but I decided that I wanted to start coming in here filming. I do need to get some proper lighting in here, but yes, this is my new backdrop. I've got my restoration hardware console table. I have my vintage vessels, my geodes, my CV2 print behind me. It's just a vibe. And so this is going to be the new layout for my videos moving forward. But this video is going to be just me doing some showcasing of my house, what it looks like after the holidays. I was going to film me cleaning my home and organizing, but to be honest, I took down my Christmas stuff so fast, so fast. I took it down the day after Christmas. I was like so overseeing it and I didn't end up filming, but I did want to showcase how it is that the house looks, what it looks like. I did redecorate spaces, deep cleaning. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed and I am glad to be back and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you, peace. All right, so here is my entryway. I have not showed you guys this yet, but I redid the mirrors here. So I originally had a 40 inch round mirror here and I decided to do this double arched mirror. Look here, my entryway. I still do need to patch the hole there at the top, but I brought in these and I'm really loving the way it looks. So it really elongates this entryway just cause I do have 20 foot ceilings here. So this is an area that I can do something pretty substantial. So I just added this Studio McGee olive bush here to the left with three of these black candlestick holders. And then on this side, I just did some coffee table books with this really cute marble dish, some beads and, and one of the lamps that I picked up from Target. Second area is my dining room, kept it very, very minimal. So after I had showcased my holiday dining table, I don't know if it was someone from YouTube, but they purchased every single one of those vintage vessels for my holiday tablescape. So now all I have here is this beautiful pottery barn vessel. These stems are from Hobby Lobby, and then these candlestick holders are from Amazon, but kept it really, really simple here on my dining table. And I'm actually gonna try to see if I can purchase more of those vessels. But for now, this is what the dining room looks like. Next space is my old backdrop. I did this a little bit more simplistic and I did all the styling here in the center, whereas typically I will have items on either side of the sideboard, but this is what I have. I just, utilizing what I have, I had that horse head, I believe from Hobby Lobby. This is a pottery barn vessel. And then I just styled it with some coffee table books and a marble mortar with some beads. And this is a real olive tree that I have trained to live inside. One thing too with this space, I'm constantly changing it. It changes from one week to another. So this is just this week's flavor. You never know if I change it next week, but thought I would try something a little bit different for this sideboard. Now into the living room, here's the next space. So I did something a little bit more simplistic with this console table. I just did some of my designer coffee table books, styled it with a pair of stacked vintage bowls, which you guys will recognize. And then in this vase, I just clipped off some of the olive branches from the olive tree in our backyard. 
And then I styled two coffee table books open with a large geocrystal on it. So really love how this looks here on this space. that I don't really typically show too often. This is our drop station outside of our garage and I just decided to do something a little bit more neutral and I brought in the vessel that I've talked about on my channel that is from Home Depot with some Hobby Lobby eucalyptus branches, some coffee table books, one of my cute little vintage stools, and a pair of uh, terracotta bowls. I love how this looks. <laughs> in my kitchen that I'm totally obsessed with and I'm so excited for it. So I have my little vintage vessel. I picked up this rosemary bush from Target and I have it paired with a candle, some of my cooking books, and this really beautiful primitive vintage tray that I picked up. But this is a really fun little spot here in my kitchen. <laughs> kept the kitchen island rather simple. I took my restoration hardware vessel with some eucalyptus stems from Hobby Lobby and then I styled a candle on this vintage tray with some of my favorite cooking books here on this cutting board that I got from Home Goods a while back. Mm -hmm. 